the internet is a very diverse place open to anyone who lives by a mcdonald's or a library or can afford to pay virgin media an exorbitant subscription fee each month to have any decent service in your area this new medium has created opportunities for thousands of creators online to make a living for themselves solely by expressing themselves in the way they want to that is a disgrace look my point was not to judge whether or not they were doing it in the right way streaming is one of the primary methods people have successfully used to achieve this goal with with a low barrier to entry and the fact that every second of streaming is an extra second of entertainment compared to the poor youtubers who have to spend hours editing and making thumbnails to make people click their videos <laughs> there is indeed a heavy convenience factor but this comes at the expense of not being able to filter yourself and actually make sure you're not acting retarded online and with many having to stream daily in order to uphold the audience and with streams taking hours a day you're not always going to be in your best mind or mood this is what happens to your brain after snorting twitch streaming and thus in today's video, since I actually have a life and exam humbly made the decision to no longer reference I have exams and I have to quit every single video. Oops. I'm gonna take a look at two situations featuring my mortal enemies which have happened recently in a very amazing compressed news video. And I guess the video starts now. <laughs> Frogan is a Twitch streamer with 57.5 thousand followers. I'm looking defense of her because I'm gonna end up like criticizing her for a long time now. That's what she said! Uh, I will say she actually does use her Twitch account. She's a Muslim streamer associated with people such as Hassan Arbi. A leftist political streamer famous for his amazing takes throughout the years. I mean Frogan literally used to be a mod for this guy so uh, I think that can tell you where her politics lies and how it's uh, very amazing. And ever since the October 7th situation, oh no huge drama in Israel in 2023, he's been a massive proponent for Palestine and has clashed with people such as Jewish creator Ethan Klein of H3H3 Productions basically because of how little she seems to care about the other side. For example on October 7th itself, a day where almost 1,200 Israelis were killed by Hamas and a bunch of other affiliated groups, she tweeted out Leftist preacher foam at the mouth at the foot of a revolution happening in America but as soon as it happens in the Middle East what they're doing is wrong. Look, here's we're gonna the be thing. Fine. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> Ethan has been a critic of the Israeli government several times, but you know, of course, uh, that doesn't mean you have to support the instant death of civilians. And feeling uncomfortable with that tweet, Ethan unfollowed her on Twitter, and she responds on the 11th saying, That feeling when one of your favourite content creators unfollows you for being pro-Palestine, <laughs> No, he unfollowed you for being pro-death of civilians. There's also loads of other tweets that she's made, such as replying to this person who said, Lady, please, there's a massive difference between being pro-Palestine and pro-Hamas. And then she replies saying, What's it like being brain dead? And of course, there's this uh, greatest hit from the 1st of March 2024 where she tweeted started therapy five years after a bad experience with a Zionist therapist <laughs> how you identify quote unquote Zionist therapist uh, is, is not for me to say I'll probably get punched from YouTube <laughs> yeah point is is that she's insanely pro-Palestine which I guess is fair enough and recently a bunch of other YouTubers mainly leftist ones and some out there ones as well like Ian Hecox of bloody swash for some reason have started a creators for Palestine movement which accuses Israel of genocide and aims to donate a million dollars for Palestinian aid. They're at least fighting for a decent cause and as far as I'm well something that happened is that Ludwig, I, I don't really have time to write an essay about my objections to him here. He's a vanilla streamer, a bloody p and a bunch of other stuff. But at least today that's not the point because we're going to be defending the lovely little good boy. And there's another clip people are going to use out of context in a few years. But anyway, like I was saying, Ludwig, on either May the 8th or 9th, 2024, decided that he would donate $10,000 to Palestinian aid charities, but stated that he chose not to join the movement and forward all of his subscribers' donations to charity, arguing understandably that since this is a complicated issue with valid arguments on both sides, he would not want to like fully endorse pro-Palestine messaging unless he felt everyone was down with it. So I personally donated 10 k uh, because I think it is worthwhile. And if you guys got some extra bread, I would recommend you donate. I find ultimately, like, if I were to do a charity thing where the charity thing relies on your donations, it should be something where, like, 95% of people 
feel good and are down for it. And look, it's understandable for you not to want your viewers to be indirectly forced to fund political causes they may disagree with. And that's now guaranteed 100 comments calling me a genocide denier. We're really doing well tonight. But either way, even if you're pro-Palestine or hell, even a Hamasnik like bloody Frogan. I mean, the pure fact that he's donated $10,000 to the Palestinian Children Relief Fund is still a nakedly good thing. And it's also true that you can technically be pro-Israel in like this situation. We're like still not care and want to donate aid to the Palestinians. The question is just a where or whether or not it's going to the right places which i shall not comment about because i don't want to have a take as stupid as frogan on this situation i mean no thanks and some people are gonna say that you know what i mean that's why it's the diff this is a cracker take difference between like hey i can put my money where my mouth is but i don't need to put your money there i don't need to enter a debate cracker about what Hey, I know Arabs are dying, but you know, I'm not gonna tell you to donate. Do whatever you want. I mean, yeah, during the international cost of living crisis and a bunch of other issues, people should focus on what they really think they need their money to be used for. And the audacity of you in all of this, like, firstly, you're calling him apparently racist towards Arabs because he's refusing to donate, whilst you're literally using a slur for white people in the same breath. Obviously, it's not on the same level as the bloody N-word, but uh, you still see my point. And secondly, if you're going to argue down this road out of everything, if there's Arabs dying, well, why do you have an emergency rent? Why, why should people pay your rent? It's not anyone else's but you chose to move to LA to join the streaming community when you're only getting like 200 viewers a stream at the moment. Do you not care about Arabs dying? Like genuinely though, advice to all influencers, even if you know bloody Hassan or something, or even bloody Mr. Beast. You're working for the internet, not bloody Nestle, and your career can go down the toilet in like three seconds. So always have a backup or have an actual job in the first place instead of bloody moving to LA with such low viewership. <laughs> she really thinks that she has room to argue in this situation. <laughs> well, at least we can see the hammer spike influence in full display here cracker is not a slur 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 sussy it, is it is it not it's not. You can't be racist to white people. And look, the thing is, everything we've discussed so far fully eliminates the factor of human agency. Him saying he's running a campaign, saying he'll give all donations to Palestinian charities, won't like automatically force people to donate to him. It's not a communist dictatorship. And if anything, Frogan should be happy because that 10k, even though it's technically his money and not new money from donations, that he's bloody declared should be going to a singular cause. Some of that money would have come from previous viewers who have like donated to him and stuff. And some of those could be like pro israeli so shouldn't you be bloody celebrating being like a ha 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 the Zionists who donated to Ludwig in the past have been forced to donate to Palestinian aid now. Ah. Instead she's taking like this fully pessimistic position. Yes, me. Eyes, but, mine. but the ones that got the most sh are talking about Palestine since October 7th have been me, Caroline, Hassan. Yeah. And she can't even pay her own rent. I mean, at this rate, the only time she'd be happy is if Mr. Beast does like bloody Squid Game idea. When there is a one Jew gets to exist in a free Palestine. Oh my gosh, bro! This this is what millions of years of evolution led us to. Oh gosh. Oh. But like, look, Ludwig is like a non-political streamer and I do understand why he said the words that he said, even though apparently he's backtracked a bit in DMs to other streamers. Because Frogan, Hassan, people like that, they are political and us. I'm not really surprised or even offended that they're making statements like they are in favour of Palestine. I was really shocked when I saw bloody Smosh had donated 10k to the fundraise. <laughs> I think my message to them should be, SHUT UP! I need to go smash some stuff. <laughs> Okay, next we have an amazing story concerning the YouTube streamer Vegan Patriot who has 6.15 thousand subscribers. And on the 10th of May, according to Dexerto, this streamer was high and ended up hitting a pedestrian on the video on the stream. And her reaction to it was like utterly stupid. They're not fake, but I wonder sometimes. How you crash when you're sort of paying attention, I don't know. But then again, this is why you don't drive under the influence on video, even just for your own sake. Like, you'll get caught. The, the evidence is online, although she did delete the VOD like a couple of hours later, which was long enough for someone to get this clip. Oh my god, are you okay? No. I didn't see her. Why are you not looking? I was looking. I didn't see you. Well, what the f? I'm telling you, I did not see you. Okay, Ann. What the f? Just tell me how 
I can help. I mean, uh, please just go back to peeing in alleys. Like, Reddit has accused you of doing it. Even Reddit's calling you out for being degenerate. Well, I don't know. I'm okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, you guys. I don't know what just happened, but it wasn't good. Uh, I think you hit someone, and uh, I guess we can at least agree that it, it wasn't good. I'm trying to... Where do you want me to go? Uh, out outside and apologize. I plan on it! May maybe call the police instead of continuing to use your phone. Can I park? Alright guys, here's your content for the day. That's got to be the greatest outro to a stream I've ever seen. I, I, I just ran somebody over. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>content so yeah yeah really in my opinion i don't know how to end this it's probably just the fact that since the internet has become more and more accessible people have to do like more and more extreme things to stand out and that's why we get stuff like this happening and it gets like basically no attention you probably have to like kill someone on stream in order to get youtube to ban you and yes this person was not arrested and just continued streaming like three or four hours later <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I won't do that. I'll just uh, kill this video and end it. Thanks for watching this mishmash of stuff that I uh, really don't know. I've been Heliophobia and all my social media is at Heliophobia and it has an underscore next slash Twitter. And yeah, I'll just uh, see you next time. If slash when there is a next time. It does just genuinely feel weird though that this is like the most consistently I've uploaded on any channel in like a good four years. Ah!